trust someone, we entrust someone, we shake hand, it's a handshake deal, a lot of like done deal, not like sign paper contract or anything. We trust our people and our group, in our group, we trust each other, working as a group. You need to, we believe that we need two main things in our group to be successful. Number one is trust. Number two is respect. Because Asian culture, we need to respect, like older people, uh, younger, we have <laughs> No, I, I really respect you, Beth. <laughs> Because, you know, I said that, you know, she's like my mother and, uh, you know, <laughs> yes, because I'm young and then, uh, you know, I learn from you. Um, <laughs> so um, we, we do believe that if we respect each other, we can learn from each other a lot. And because of the respect, we have uh, the harmony. We don't fight, we don't argue um, a lot, uh, but we respect and we agree on how we're gonna do things together. So as a group, uh, that is uh, what the major two things that we would like to send out the message to um, any of our clients, our uh, partner to work with DSP Asia. We like them to know us as a, a group that we can, people we can trust, we can respect. When we work together, we respect your opinion, uh, your personalized, uh, uh, hobby or whatsoever, we respect that, and um, because we respect that, we treat it very, very special, and uh, we do our best to satisfy our partner or our client, and that is how I would like to share from uh, our DSP Relocation Asia group. Thank you. Okay, it seems now it's me. Some of you might know me, others don't. I'm Isabel and I represent Replicado Porsche Relocation. And when I started this business in Portugal, it was very early in 1992. And I joined ERA at the Amsterdam Conference 2000. When I did that, uh, my idea was how can I present myself, my company, and connect that with the country. From the beginning, my choice was on the color blue and on the Portuguese icons. The blue is the sea, the blue is the discoveries, the blue are the traditional Portuguese styles known worldwide. On those days, I was, unfortunately, the only Portuguese DSP. Uh, thankful, recently there are other competitors of mine, but on those days it was almost a joke. Where is Portugal? It was where is Isabel in every conference. So thanks competitors, that stopped finally. Uh, so my branding was a lot me as a person, uh, my way of communicate, my way of behavior, and the branding of the country itself, what it represented. What you are seeing now in this slide is the first uh, design of the brand, which was the Blue Angel of one of the famous styles, and the website to come that is being finished. On the giveaway, I also kept promoting and still do things that are related to the country and to the culture, but things that are different ways of presenting them. For example, for the Lisbon Conference of ERA in 2006, instead of uh, providing a common map of Portugal, with my logo on, I had a special map designed by students of the Beaux Arts of Lisbon, and they designed the downtown Lisbon in watercolor with the main points of Lisbon to, vi to be visited. The face, you know it, it's the same, doesn't change. 
not even the wrinkles, and the kilos are still the same also. <laughs> the country itself, I, for me, it's maybe easier to present the country and to help the client that is moving to Portugal, because myself, I'm not a native Portuguese. My grandparents, my parents were Portuguese born, but I was born in Africa, in the Portuguese Africa. And the Portuguese Africa had nothing to do with the Portugal continent, the mainland. So when in 74, suddenly I was dropped there, I was an expat in a country that I didn't knew. Often I say I still don't know a lot. They still surprise me. That is also a part of my way of contact the client and of personalized. Because at the point, I can relate with the client with things that he is feeling different. And they can easier uh, trust on what I'm saying and feeling. And I do like uh, to do all my work as a DSP on personalize the client. What is important? It's not the global contract that the multinational has worldwide for all the experts. What is important, it's not the budget he has, it's not the position he has. The important is what he feels, what he expects, what he would like to have, what he thinks the country has, and try to level his expectations, his wishes, to what reality is. So, that is my point on personalize. It's not just the brand that personalizes the country, that shows it's that country, but it's mainly to put the client feeling in such a position that he knows that the person he has in front of him is not the person that is at his work, is the person he can trust, is the person he can call if he has a need, even if it's outside whatever he's allowed to, that he can have a question, and he can know that what will be told to him, even if it's not always what he wants to hear, it will be the truth and the reality. Recently, I had a very funny situation. I had a French client moving to Portugal and married to an Angolan lady. So the moment he heard I was also from Angola, he goes, oh God, and I said, yeah, two bossy ones on your life. I know. So we still are very good friends, and when his wife came for the last part of the house tour, and we went for some shopping around, she does, then turns to me and says, there is no bread in this country. And I start laughing because I had that same expression 30 years before. It's not that there isn't, it's just the way they present the bread and the way the, the boulangerie are, it's different from Angola. So for her, it was not that easy to find the bread, what she calls bread, and what I used to call bread. So those are the little nothings that in our business can make a lot of difference because those are the personal items. Because to line up a cost of living, to line up a serial of apartments, fine, we all do it. But we have to do it in a personal way, in a way that the client feels that we are not dealing with a Mr. Z from X company, but we are dealing with him. What he wants, what he needs, what suddenly he feels that he needs to express, he needs to tell us something, and we have the time to listen. It can be the bread, it can be the dog, Believe me, the dogs are now famous among expats. 
And those little things can really help to support a successful relocation. The family is important, the single is important, the couple split, the old diversity of couples, but they need to feel they are being treated as person, as human being, as unique, and that we uh, have an empathy with them and that we are there to tell them and guide them in the best way so that they can better adapt and feel they are dealing with me. They are not dealing with the company, they are taking care of me. And I will be a happier expat in this country. I will be able to understand the differences and even if I don't agree with them, I don't have to agree, but I will in a better way, accept the difference and live with those differences instead of starting to nya, 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 I don't want this. So, in general, in summarizing, I am an outsider of the country who has still a lot of love to the country of my parents and grandparents. And uh, I use that love and that mixture with my African side. And I was a little bit smiling when Marta spoke about also, and you also, about the respect, and especially when you said the respect for the older, olders. It's something that in Africa, it's very important, you know? We take care of our values, and values it's not a rude word for an African. It's a tenderness word. And that the respect and the taking care of the other, it's something that I love to have it and I like to have it in the service I provide. For me, that is personalized and respect the client in front of me before anything else. Thank you, colleagues, and thank you for the great approach you are giving to this conference once more. Well, thank you very much for your insights, all of, all of you. I think we had a pretty good idea that really what personalizes our services is the individual really behind it, and that the culture also has an influence on what we do. We're going to now open uh, the debate to the floor. Does anyone have a comment or a question to ask to our panelists? We don't see anything. We have lights in our eyes. We don't see anything. So if anyone is doing something, somebody that is not, <laughs> do you see? <laughs> Comments, example from your own strategy, your own personality? I don't know if I can say, but in the beginning, Elmut <laughs> had a lovely joke because it was only ladies. But Elmut, you are also a brand of yourself. Oh, I yeah. am me, it's <laughs> Elmut Berg, so please, you have now your time. <laughs> 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 on the panel. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make you say yeah. something, Helen. <laughs>